flying the very long legs over the Pacific demonstrated how densely energy can be stored in liquid fuels. If we had to rely on current battery technology, our aircraft would have to be at least 60 times heavier. Or if the DA-50 was powered by hydrogen, the fuel storage would require four times the space of our current fuel tanks. Arriving in Monterey, California, our partner Del Monte Aviation provides us with access to physical, sustainable aviation fuel. Del Monte stores its sustainable aviation fuel, or short SAF, in a designated fuel truck. Within the truck, it is blended together with fossil jet fuel to meet current regulations of using SAF as a drop-in fuel. During our layover in Monterey, we were able to uplift a blend of approximately 30% SAF and 70% fossil jet fuel. Apart from the physical staff, we had another novelty on board with us, Nina, Robin's girlfriend who joins us for the legs through the western US. The SAF plant that is feeding the CD300 engine is, to some extent, linked with Nina's fries from yesterday's welcome dinner. We covered power to liquid SAF in our second vlog over flying Dubai. In Monterey, Del Monte Aviation provided us with BioSAF. One potential source for BioSAF is waste cooking oil. The oil used to fry french fries started its life in a sunflower field, absorbing CO2 from the atmosphere as the crop grows. Compared to fossil jet fuel, using biological residuals for SAF production reduces carbon emissions from well to wake by around 80%. Well to wake are the emissions arising from feedstock acquisition to fuel combustion. And as the 80% figure shows, also with the SAF, some emissions cannot be avoided due to SAF production and distribution. However, and when compared to other SAF feedstock, waste materials keep remaining emissions relatively low. Using waste materials means no farmland is specifically allocated for SAF production. In the case of sunflowers, the farmland is used to grow the crop for subsequent production of cooking oil and not for the purpose of refining SAF. So in short, thank you Nina for ordering fries. Along Highway 1, our flight takes us to Oceano, where lunch follows a gusty approach into the field. After a hearty lunch in Oceano, we made our way to Los Angeles, passing the houses of Malibu Beach during the descent. What followed was a maximum crosswind component landing in Van Nuys. Ending the day in Van Nuys, our gold partner Jet Aviation once more delivers, in this case, physical BioSAF. California airports amaze us with the physical BioSAF supply. However, the maps from our friends from 4Air depicts that we had to fly all the way from Europe to the US West Coast before we could upload SAF physically. If SAF gets delivered far away from where it's produced, 
the logistics involved would significantly reduce its carbon saving potential. To avoid shipping ZAF all over our route, we send Jet Aviation our fuel bills if we uplift fossil jet fuel. Jet Aviation then makes sure that the same amount of ZAF is fueled into other aircraft passing through their facilities. Thank you, Jet Aviation, for supporting us through your book and claim system. Bravo, Romeo, Tango, Tango, flighting at 050, descend and maintain 6,000. Heading 050, descend and maintain 6,000, Hotel Bravo, Romeo, Tango, Tango. Romeo, Tango, Tango, you can contact Phoenix Approach 120.7, today. 120.7, Hotel Bravo, Romeo, Tango, Tango, thank you. Air 4743, actually, Captain. Uh, 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 In Scottsdale, we have briefed to fly information up to Sedona. Over beautiful Arizona landscape, we closed in on the Cirrus, piloted by Kennedy, Stephanie and Nick. Touching down in Sedona, and on top of our existing measures to reduce and offset our emissions, Kennedy decided to support us through his company 4Air. By doing so, Diamondo Earth Rounder became eligible for 4Air's highest sustainability rating. Great to meet fun and like-minded people. After this formation flight, it was time to continue our way through Utah and Colorado to Fort Worth, Texas. This part of the trip rewarded us with some of the most breathtaking landscape we have ever seen.
Arriving in Fort Worth Meacham, the DA-50 undergoes its second scheduled maintenance stop en route. The inspection is carried out by our partners Premier and Continental. After flying more than 120 hours on our trip, we still found ourselves reporting no squawks to the formidable maintenance team. 